Hello everybody, um, it is Allie from Alice and Kelly Crafts, and I am back with a uh, travel mini album process video for you. Um, this is a 6x8 album that is documenting my trip to Italy over the summer. I thought I was recording for like the first half of this layout, uh, but it was not, so I will just explain kind of what I did. Um, I cut out the cards from various cardstock. Um, and then the like spoon card, the spoon part was like something I printed out, um, and then I made this label out of sewing pattern paper. I wanted a label, but I didn't want to like cover up all of the, um, spoons. I also did some stitching, um, on top of that, and I'm just gonna put some washi tape behind the stitching so that it stays well. Um, so... This layout isn't documenting like a ton, um, as you can see in the top corner, we got a cool la latte, um, and then there's like a bus ticket, or no, I think it's a parking ticket, not ticket, but like a parking pass thing, and then some of the food we ate. Most of my documenting is of the food we ate, <laughs> but I mean, that's what happens when you go to Italy. So now I'm writing some journaling on that label, just using a normal pen. I need to get better pens. I don't have a lot and all my pens are kind of meh. As you can see, while well, I try to write, or well, I do my journaling on the cup of this picture, um, and I had to like, go through three different pens because all of them end up being really bad. <laughs> None of them wrote well on the like glossy photo paper. But also, I apologize for my voice because I am kind of sick, and so my voice is really hoarse right now. <laughs> But I wanted to get this video out, so yeah, I want to be more consistent with my YouTube. going to add some stickers. Um, these stickers are two Italy themed stickers from Parity Papery, um, which is a sticker store on Etsy. I will leave them linked down below. Um, yeah, they have really good stickers and I got these two specifically for this album. So all these stickers are kind of sprinkled throughout. Um, I thought it would add like a sense of like cohesion throughout the whole album using like the same stickers throughout. So yeah, I'm gonna add this. I don't remember what that sticker is. I can't really see it, but yeah. Now I'm adding some washi tape. And I think I added another sticker. I don't remember. But the layout's like almost done. I'm having a few pages in this process video so that it's not just like one you know, two minute layout and then you're done. <laughs> I wanted to add like a mug or something because of the mugs and I look at other mug stickers but I end up just going with the one from the um, Italy sticker book. Now I'm flipping to see what other... Oh, I do, I, I add this green geotag thing, which is like a chipboard, and some washi tape, obviously. And I, th I think I staple it, and then I think that's the end of the layout. I think I'm just looking through other things to try and add anything else, but I don't. Oh, I checked to see if the ink was dry yet on the photo. It wasn't really, but it, I think it works fine going into the pocket.
Now we're on to the next page, which is a six by eight page, um, and it is documenting some of the museums we went to. I always would pick up like maps and the pamphlets and whatnot. Um, so yeah, this one, I forget what this one was, but um, I wanted to keep like the whole map so that in the future if I wanted to like look at it, <laughs> then it would be there. So I'm just going to like lightly decorate the front page with the tickets, the ticket that I got. And then that's it. For some reason I wanted it to flip up because I liked the like image on the back, but I don't see myself ever flipping it up, so I don't really know why I did that. <laughs> now I'm gonna add just a little scrap of like book text, and then I'll I think I'm gonna put some stickers on top of that. These stickers are again from the Italy sticker sheet from Pear Tea Papery. Um, now I'm going to use the back of this uh, pamphlet. I ended up cutting this one up um, because I, I wanted to. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I, I cut up a paper to be like the backing of the paper so I can like, glue it on. So this is just like some random scrap paper that I don't need. I keep the rest of the uh, pamphlet thing inside. Um, I was going to. So I'm just gluing that to the backing, and then I think I decorated some. I'm adding this piece of scrap paper to it and I think I had a label or something to do journaling on I'm pretty sure but at this point I, I don't know what I'm gonna do <laughs> just doing the journaling on a piece of scrap paper and then gluing that um, onto the page. to clip everything together using this paper clip um, and then sliding it back into the page protector. Now on to the last page. I had this um, uh, like pocket or it was like a glassine bag that I cut up and sewed together to make a pocket. I don't have anything in the pocket yet and I didn't make anything in this layout but I will. <laughs>
like that flower one because it matches the colors of the um, Van Gogh painting. <laughs> There were a bunch of these all over Italy, like different famous paintings, seemingly underwater. So I took a picture of the Van Gogh one. Um, and then I add this little like <clears throat> library card thing. Um, it was from a paper pad. It was like a color part. Um, and I think I use it for journaling. I don't think I journal much on this page though. So now I'm just kind of fiddling around with whatever I can find and trying to make the layout look good. This was some extras from the glassine bag, um, and I'm going to use them to back the Van Gogh picture. up switching out the um, card on the bottom and making it like a half of this brown striped paper half of a blue paper which you shall see in a few minutes I wanted to keep including the blue that was in the other cards um, and so yeah this recollections paper pad is basically what I've been using throughout the entire Italy album it has very vintagey papers um, and so yeah, I've been using a lot of stuff from there. It's also where the library card um, cut apart sheet was. I've been using that in like everything. Then I just <clears throat> add some washi and library card, and I think some stickers, and then that's pretty much it for this layout. Um, you should be seeing the pictures of all of the layouts after this. Um, so, yeah. I thank you so much for watching, and I will hopefully be posting more videos, and I shall see you in the future. Goodbye, friends. <laughs>